Just do it. It's like I'm furious. Rapanos, is it Rapanos? So is that my cool? And you're asking me, Rita, are you angry? No, I'm not angry. I'm furious. I'm turning 30 this year, and that, my dear students, is terrifying. Believe me. Hello fantastic people, eu sunt Rita de la Fantastic English și în acest video vom continua să vorbim despre acea greșeală extrem de frecventă, adică utilizarea excesivă a cuvântului very. Let's go! La fel cum am făcut-o în precedentul video de acest gen, Very good, very bad, very nice, very difficult, very interesting, very, very, very. Astăzi te voi testa, deci nu doar o să-ți prezint aceste cuvinte, dar și voi face un mini test la sfârșit. De aceea, te încurajez să-ți iei un caițel și un pix și să notezi aceste cuvinte, nu strică. Înainte să începem, dă subscribe la acest canal de YouTube și apasă pe clopoțel. Pentru că tu doar vrei să fii notificat atunci când apar lecții noi, gratuite, fantastice de engleză. La fel, dacă ne privești pe Facebook, dă follow la pagina noastră Fantastic English. Dă follow și subscribe. Do it! Do it! Do it! Just do it! And now, let's get down to it. Deja știi că e mult mai nice să spui amazing, fantastic, awesome, marvelous, în loc de very good. Și very good e ok, dar very good e doar very good. Adică simplu. Because it's boring. Și eu vreau să vă încurajez să evitați aceste formulări. Ți-am pregătit 10 adjective frecvente și alternative, mai avansate, așa mai suculente pentru fiecare dintre ele. The first one will be very angry. Angry means supărat, enervat, like angry birds, you probably know about them. So instead of very angry, you should say furious, like I'm furious. It's like I'm furious. For instance, you broke my favorite cup. And you're asking me, Rita, are you angry? No, I'm not angry, I'm furious. I'm furious. La fel ca în română, furious înseamnă furios. Good morning. I'm furious with you. Let's go. What about Elaine? Oh, with Elaine. She'll be furious. We're dying here. <laughs> Allison was furious at me. Remember how furious you got that time your sister ended an email with THX instead of thanks? Number two. Când vrei să spui că ceva e foarte curat, poți spune very clean. Și folosim adjectivul clean. Clean însă e un substantiv destul de... Adjectiv, nu substantiv. Destul de basic. Și uite, în loc de very clean, I suggest you use spotless. It's spotless. Keep it spotless and glorify it. For example, I cleaned my apartment and now it's spotless. Spotless, apropo, are două cuvinte. Spot, ceea ce înseamnă pată sau ceva murdar. Less, care înseamnă mai puțin sau fără. Spotless. Așa o să deschidă o mică paranteză. Poți pune acest less lângă un substantiv și să-l transforme automat în adjectiv. Pentru că, uite, spot e substantiv și când am adăugat less, s-a primit adjectiv. Spotless. La fel ar fi hair less. Hairless, fără păr. Limit, less. Limitless, fără limite. Time, less. Timeless, care nu se supune noțiunii timpului. Și tot așa mai departe. Asta e un life hack pe care vreau să-l știți. It's wireless. Dressed like a homeless man. This is Leonardo. He's in the blue. Fearless leader. So, very clean. Forget about this and say spotless. Wow, honey, look. This place looks spotless. Thanks. Anything else, son? How's my room coming along? I'll have it spotless by dinner. The kitchen is spotless, and that means you're depressed. I'm not depressed. I'm angry. And this kitchen is always spotless. Nu uita să notezi aceste cuvinte, pentru că la finele videoclipului te testez, remember that. Number three, we have very dirty. Dirty is the antonym of clean, deci luăm un antonim pentru precedentul adjectiv. If you say my shoes are very dirty, they're not, but let's just say that they are very dirty, that's fine. But what if I tell you my shoes are filthy? Filthy este așa mult mai puternic și mai colorat ca adjectiv, deci sunt extrem de murdari. Traducerea la filthy ar fi murdar, dar eu vă sugerez o asociere gen răpănos, zic răpănos, sau să dăm lui Cobi. Poți să zici, de ce nu? E autentic. Exact, cum spune colegul meu, e cumva arhaic, dar e ca răpănos, foarte murdar, filthy. You know you want me to give it to you. Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Made it in time. Oh, Amy, your dress is filthy. Luckily, I brought you a spare outfit. We have an agreement. But I would never be partners with the likes of you. I'll tell the buyer we're on our way. And Quill, your ship is filthy. 
Number four, we have frightening. Frightening, adică înfricoșător. Și hai să învățăm pronunțarea acestui cuvânt, că e un pic așa mai complicat. So, frightening, dacă ar fi să fac un slow motion, da? Frightening. Or frightening, dacă pronunț T-ul, așa cum o fac britanicii. Frightening. Deci, în loc de very frightening, pot spune terrifying. It's a terrifying situation. Or I watched a movie and it was terrifying. Or another terrifying example. I'm turning 30 this year. And that, my dear students, is terrifying. Believe me. I never thought I'd be 30. <laughs> It's terrifying. 3-0. Oh my God. Okay, let's focus. <laughs> so, very frightening. No, terrifying. The new adjective. The world, ladies and gentlemen, is on the brink of new and terrifying possibilities. It gets a whole lot more complicated when you have kids. Yeah, it's scary. It's the most terrifying day of your life, the day the first one is born. Beatrice stole it from me. I won't rest until it's stolen. And if I don't get my hands on the sugar bowl, I don't know what I'll do. She's beautiful and terrifying. If what I told you about the age and the fact that I'm turning 30 was funny to you, then let's talk about funny. Very funny. Da foarte nostim, foarte vesel. So instead of very funny, you can say hilarious. That was hilarious. Like ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Very funny. Well, this is sarcasm, of course. But when you really, really want to laugh about something, you say hilarious. For example, a hilarious joke or a hilarious movie. France has hilarious jokes. Ross. I'm, I'm a little warm, so I'm going to be taking off my sweater. Now, I'm just letting you know this is not an invitation to the physical act of love. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I'm sorry, I'm done. You should have seen the guy that you used to go out with. I mean, he's like Joe Rugby. You're kidding, and he plays rugby? It's so funny. <laughs> Did that. All right. <laughs> anyway, she thought the very idea of me playing rugby with him was like hilarious. So I'm going to show her how tough I really am. <laughs> so one more time, very funny. We say hilarious. Hai să facem o scurtă recapitulare pentru primele cinci cuvinte. Te testez acum, chiar acum. Very angry. Alternativul? Yep, furious. Very clean. Yeah, that's right. Spotless. Now, very dirty. Yes, filthy. Very frightening. That's right. Terrifying. And very funny. You're right. Hilarious. And now let's continue with number six. We have the word intelligent. Very intelligent. Or smart, by the way. Very intelligent, very smart. That's okay. But it's much better. It sounds much more sophisticated if you say brilliant. You're brilliant. Și apropo, pentru vorbitorii de limba rusă, you are brilliant. Nu înseamnă tă briliant. Adică nu-i spui persoanii că este un diamant. Brilliant means very smart, like genius. Like me? Yeah, like you. You're brilliant. So, a brilliant person or a brilliant idea, a brilliant book, brilliant, I don't know, method. Brilliant can be anything. He wants to cash in, liquidate, take his money and run home. You don't let him do that. You get another brilliant idea. A special idea. No, there are hundreds of them. My brilliant plan was not so brilliant. I know. You can't build a living body. You can. You lack the materials. You're a brilliant woman, Helen. Și apropo, traducere la brilliant ar fi genial. Number seven, we have interesting. Apropo, interesting, nu interesting. Eu am vorbit despre pronunțarea acestui adjectiv de cel puțin trei ori și am menționat că e o greșeală foarte frecventă. Oricum îl aud în continuare la studenții mei din cursul actual pe care îl fac, interesting, interesting book, interesting. Interesting. It's all good coming down so instead of very interesting which is fine you can say captivating what's that about um i'm sort of a spy thriller hey what's a so captivating i love captivating things and this must really be captivating because it's keeping you off the phones i mean time is your money that's how i know how captivating it is hello i'm amy santiago is that captivating enough 
Weirdly, it might have been a scooch too captivating. That's captivating. A captivating book or a film or a discussion with a person. Captivating. Adică captivant, ca în română. Now let's continue with number eight. În precedentul video de acest gen v-am spus că în loc de very big vă recomand să folosiți huge, enormous, great, dar iată very little, adică foarte mic. I'm a little. I'm Stuart Little. Little este un adjectiv destul de basic, dar nu spune foarte mult decât faptul că e mărimea mică sau cantitatea mică, de exemplu, very little water sau sugar. M-am pornit. Slow down. Încă o dată. Deci, very little, da? Foarte mic. An alternative would be tiny. Tiny. Se scrie așa, tiny. Sau mai luați încă câteva cuvinte pentru că știu. You can say minute. Asta în special pentru cei care intenționează să susțină examene internaționale precum TOEFL, Cambridge sau IELTS. Notați cuvintele astea. Deci avem tiny, e ok, e mai uzual, dar mai avansate se consideră minute, se scrie exact ca cuvântul minută. Minute, petite. Toate astea înseamnă foarte mic, minute. Oh, and you can learn the expression teeny tiny. That's a teeny tiny problem to me. You just looked teeny tiny next to him. <laughs> Or can I have a teeny tiny piece of cake? I love cake so much. <laughs> you can tell I'm hungry, right? So once again, instead of very little, forget about that, say tiny. Adică mikut. It's a whole tiny world on the airplane, isn't it? It's always that little tiny table there, a tiny computer, everyone's in a little cramped seat, tiny food, tiny utensils, tiny liquid bottles, tiny bathroom, tiny sink, tiny mirror, tiny faucet. Oh yeah, she's got these little tiny microphones and cameras all over the place. No. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. I see it now. Do you really? No, I don't see it! Okay, okay. Yeah. You see, you see this, this tiny thing that looks like a peanut? Yeah. That's our baby. Now let's continue with another adjective. Eu l-am menționat pe asta de cel puțin câteva ori în acest video, fără ca să vi-l predau. Typical teacher. Deci avem cuvântul simple, da? Simplu. So very simple is okay, but native speakers prefer the word basic. That's basic. I'm wearing basic clothes, you know, like jeans and a pair of sneakers or whatever these are. I put on some basic makeup, da? Machiaj simplu, de bază. Or before learning present perfect, you should learn some basic uh, tenses like present simple, past simple and future simple. It's a basic human right. Isn't that right, Nick? We'd like to ask you a few basic questions before the operating system is initiated. Now what I've come up with here is a basic three-point plan, all right? Basic este alternativa pentru very simple. I love this word. She, I swear, I hear it a lot in films and interviews. Basic. Apropo, traducerea cuvântului basic ar fi esențial. And the last but not least we have rich. Very rich. Foarte bogat. Here's the good news. I'm very rich. I don't need anybody's money. It's nice. I'm really rich. That's okay as well, but you should be using the adjective wealthy. Not very rich, but wealthy. For instance, Germany is a wealthy country. If I say Germany is a rich country, I focus only on the fact that it has money. But wealthy means like prosperous. In Romani, ar fi nu doar bogat, dar și îmbelșugat sau avut, opulent. Listen, I am a very wealthy man. <laughs> I'm the son of some very wealthy people from the Middle West. A wealthy gentleman bought my painting for a lot of money. This is a sign to gather swords, go over the wall and claim the wealthy lands that are rightfully ours. So you see, it's different from the word rich. That's why instead of very rich, use wealthy. All right, now let's run a quick test on the last five words. De data asta o să vă spun adjectivul pe care vi l-am dat ca alternativă, de exemplu, wealthy, și tu trebuie să-mi spui de la ce adjectiv simplu vine el. For example, wealthy este very rich, ok? Hai să verificăm. Tiny is an alternative to which adjective? That's right, very small, so little. Basic vine de la... Correct. Very simple. What about captivating? You're right. Very interesting, we say. Interesting. What about brilliant? Brilliant. A simpler way of saying that is... 
Correct. Very smart or very intelligent. How about terrifying? Terrifying? Yes, very frightening. So, apropos, very scary. What about spotless? Correct. Very clean. And filthy? Right. Very dirty. Very dirty. Okie dokie. Now, these were the 10 words we've learned today. Apropo, a fost mai mult de 10, dar fie. Bonus ca de fiecare dată. Nu pot să vă dau un pic. Eu trebuie întotdeauna să adaug ceva în plus, pentru că simt că vă trebuie engleză. Cere sufletul vostru. And I'm connected to you. Și am o rugăminte la voi. Scrieți, vă rog, în comentarii despre ce ați vrea să fie următoarele mele videoclipuri. Despre ce să fac aceste lecții. Pentru că eu fac topuri de cuvinte pentru engleză avansată, cuvinte de legătură, traduc cântece, fac diferite challenge-uri, dar poate voi vreți altceva. Neapărat o să citesc ideile voastre. Vă rog să le scrieți în comentarii. Quick reminder, follow me on my Instagram, TikTok and this YouTube channel and ring the bell. Stai, unde clopoțelul? Ring the bell, okay? Also, follow us on our Facebook page, Fantastic English, for more fantastic videos. Cu voia postrita, and today I'm wishing you a spotless house, brilliant spouse, wife or husband, captivating holidays, tiny problems, and a wealthy future. So, quality cuvinte, have a great day and, as always, be fantastic! Deci nu doar o să-ți prezint aceste... De ce eu strig? Răpănos? Zic răpănos? Sau să dăm icobie? Frightening, apropo, dacă ai um, probleme... Lele, tu, ai, tu ai probleme, Rita, nu studenții care te ascult. Tu, tu și n-ai probleme. I never thought I'd be 30. <laughs> It's terrifying, 3-0. Very intelligent, Lele. Dacă spun rich, mă refer doar la bani. Eu, e put, mult mai... Okie dokie, now these were the 10 words we've learned today. Today,